Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable the DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol on your Windows computer. And this basically provides the internet protocol with the IP address and other related configuration information that will allow you to connect to the internet. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully get this going without too much of a hassle. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in control panel. Best match should come back with control panel here. I'm going to left click on that one time. Now set your view by to large icons and then go down to get to network and sharing center. So left click on that. Now you want to left click on the left side pane where it says change adapter settings. Left click on that one time. So whatever is your network connection listed in here, you want to double click on it. And then go down and left click on properties. You want to scroll down on this page or at least locate the internet protocol version 4 and then parentheses TCP slash IPv4 left click on that one time and then you want to left click on properties if you're looking to turn on DHCP you want to just set both of these to obtain an IP address automatically if you're looking to disable them you want to just select use the following IP address and then insert the appropriate information in the fields below very important that it's all correct in here or you're going to risk not having internet connection but again that's not really the purpose of this video I'm assuming you guys already have what the IP address and all the other information you're looking to acquire down here if you want to enable DHCP Keep both of these in the obtain DNS server address automatically and the obtain an IP address automatically fields. And, or if you're looking to turn it off, you want to just switch both of them to use the following DNS server address and use the following IP address. So pretty neat and I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.